Okay, grazie and thank you very much. First of all, I'd like to thank you for the possibility to contribute to such conference, to this moment so powerful so together with to all of you. So my speech will be a short and historical one that I hope will help you understand a little bit more all the reflection, the statement that has been made before. My speech is entitled Original Accumulation Processes in Sumerian Society because basically, uh, according to a discussion on the origin of capitalism, and I think it is important to start from the concept of original accumulation, which is a concept that means an accumulation which is not the result, but the starting point of the capitalist mode of production. So this process uh, implies an historical process that shows some structural um, implication um, and so it has so feminine the materialist feminism and the Foucault and one basically uh, unveil this process and in particular the work of Silvia Federici who showed how the transition to capitalism has been an answer of masters, feudal masters of the aristocracy, of bishops, of popes, uh, f uh, in front of the hard civil co um, conflict between 1350 and 1500, which was actually making that power crashed. So it was an actual counter-revolution counter and not the result of a process, of an evolutionary process that was able to free um, economical forces um, matured within the former system. So the development of capitalism was not the only um, possible answer to the crisis of feudal power, and in fact, in Europe, big social movement, rebellious movement, were actually looking for a new society, an egalitarian and cooperative one. So basically, the strategy enacted by the hegemonic groups was the one to assume young um, workers, young male workers um, that were fighting uh, cr thanks to um, uh, a sexual politics that transformed conflict in antagonism against women. So it was easier to divide um, the, the, the work and to uh, diminish the position, the social position of women. So basically the, w the witch hunt was in fact the edge of the violence of this process. So between the 16th and 17th century, uh, a new centralized state was built that was able to control any aspect of reproduction, and it was able to impose the expropriation of means of uh, subsistence for workers in Europe. And they were enslaving um, the, popula the indigenous population from America and Africa. So basically, the original accumulation that is at the origin and at the very basis of capitalism was not an economical system structure, but it was, in fact, um, governance dispositive, as Ocalan says. So it was not just a simple um, accumulation and concentration of labor force and capital, but it was an accumulation of differences and divisions between the work class. So that hierarchy is based on gender, but also on race, on age, became a constitutional element of the hegemonic um, control and of the formation of modern proletariat. So this archaeology of transition to capitalism must be set within the frame of Ocalan philosophy. 
so that this, ori this origin of division of society on which um, the original accumulation is based has to be retraced in the ancient Mesopotamia and so in the Sumerian civilization in the phase of institutionalization of hierarchies, especially the original accumulation in that context developed basically mean uh, on two factor and two elements. On the one side was the transformation of the mindset in terms of patriarchal development and on the other side we have the development of agriculture. Regarding the first point we have to keep in mind that at the beginning, at the origin, there were the women who were organizing a settled community, a settled society, and there women had a strong role in culture, in ecological network and connections. So the switch of the mindset happened when the hard man, the strong man, allied with the group of people to develop systematically a form of society that was against women educating and forming some young men to fight, basically to, to fight, to violence. So from here, it comes uh, the authority and the hierarchies. So the patriarchal authority, and in the end, it becomes the um, state. So at the beginning, the masculine authority emerges in a society which is communitarian, that was centered on the principle of redistribution against any forms of accumulation that were considered as at odds with moral and religion. So the, the same Ocalan says that before that domain uh, was part of the human relations, the use of the force of the male forms uh, could not actually be applied. But domain has to do with possession. So the condition of possession is the core of any system of property. So a new era um, began when uh, Within the community, women, child, children, and young people, as much as landscapes and um, places destined to hunt, um, start to be considered as a property. So in the meantime, the, the role of uh, uh, the shaman was um, meant to, to shape the mythology of this new area. So this analysis basically uh, reveals somehow in some in another way how capitalism must be understood as a domain uh, done by um, colonial powers. So has a monopoly of power and capital. This this new system. Expre expressed um, in the cult in the culture of Tardo Uruk that was spread in Mesopotamia between the fourth and the third millennium before Christ in relation particularly with the new technology with a new technology that was related to agriculture that was very similar to plantation that was determined actually to the development of capitalism, not just because of the surplus of uh, labor force, but also because this division of work, of division, of international division of labor force that then became a paradigm of the relationship, of the class relationship. So from the um, so from the agriculture, uh, it needed a form of authority able to coordinate to uh, plan the installation of lands through the colonization. 
of um, wide areas. So basically, the organ of uh, the management that was uh, that emerged as the core of this system was the temple. So the temple could not, in fact, um, preserve this function without this material function, infrastructural function, without the legitimation, an ideological legitimation, which led to pick the temple uh, among other structure that was, in fact, possible. So this subtraction of resources from the producers in order to be able to accumulate. So this actually needed a strong coercion, a strong use of force uh, that could be both physical but matter ideological. So the temple was the only institution in a, um, that was able to convince producers to cede a uh, big part of their work um, to the benefit to the community and to the managers, let's say, that were in fact um, working and showing as gods on earth. So to give uh, legitimation to the new hierarchies, it was necessary to produce um, a new symbolic apparatus of authority, which was recognize recognizable. So they decided to um, widen the territory, the lands, under the influence of the first uh, cities, state, state cities, and to find big amount of um, foods uh, and, and many other resources to enrich the new public um, buildings, for instance. All these materials could not be um, retrieved there in that area. So this relation of, um, uh, of extractivism from the center, and we're talking about the center of the Mesopotamia, with regard to the periphery with the other area of the same region, so it was not just related only to the expropriation of goods uh, that were needed for basic uh, needs and that were managed until then in an, an, autonomous, in, in an autonomous way. But it was related also to the way of living of this indigenous population that was were forced to use extractivist economies on their lands to the benefit to the city of the south, as it happened, for instance, to some region in the north uh, that were, in fact, some, some area of the north of the Kurdistan. So this exploitment had consequences also um, on the modes of organization of the uh, Place. So in the south where uh, some cities were not organized according to this proto-capitalist ways, they faced a phase of uh, strengthen uh, of the hierarchies. So basically, what happened is that uh, other cities and the elites became, in fact, uh, the, um, the spokesperson somehow. They became representative of this mode of, um, yeah. So basically, to conclude this perspective, which is feminist and materialist, provide actually arguments to understand why Ocalan traces the origins of capitalism to the Sumerian society, where this uh, material and ideological um, frame um, developed for the first time, which are 
characteristic that are still going on right now. And we are talking about the increase in violence against women, the expropriation of common property and colonialism.